All right, so for synthetic division on the same exact problem that we just did, if you didn't finish writing those steps, they're right there on the board. I'm going to take my division bar, and I'm now going to flip it to look the other way now. And looking at your formula sheet, the very first thing we need to do is... Okay, I call it the zero product rule. Now, zero product rule, uh, more accurately, is having two factors that multiply, then you set them equal to zero. But we're just setting one of these equal to zero. So just set it equal to zero. That's it. And if you do that, I subtract two. So last week we learned about going from factors to now we have a zero. X is equal to what number class? Negative two. So you're going to write a negative two here on the outside. Class, what's the next step? Coefficients. Okay, what are the coefficients? Let's see if I can highlight these in pink. Class, what number is in front of x to the third? So I'm going to write a 1 here. What number is there? This one? Negative 16. And negative 16. So we're, coefficients are just the numbers in front. The next thing we're going to do is bring an arrow down only for the first one. So we just bring an arrow down. So we're going to write the number 1. Let me zoom in over here now. And the next step is to multiply diagonally. So put your fingers right here and here. This is multiplying diagonally, and then your answer is going to be like a V. Do you see this? So negative 2 times 1, negative 2. So I'm putting it in that position. And then we're going to add down class 1 plus negative 2, or 1 minus 2. Negative 1. Now we're going to multiply diagonally, negative 2 times negative 1. What does that cost? And then what do you do after that? Add down. What do you get? Negative 14. What do you do here? Multiply diagonally. Negative 2 times negative 14. Positive 28. And then if you add down, you get 12. Now you might be asking, what do each of these numbers represent? Now, we said in our notes, or the steps that you did, number seven, it says last is the remainder. Put your finger on the remainder. The remainder is 12. So to figure out what 1, negative 1, and negative 14 mean, there's kind of two ways to figure this out. The first one is one less degree. Everyone say one less degree. What's one less than three? Two. So this becomes 1x squared. And then you're just going to be descending, going down. So this is just going to be negative 1x. This one's going to be negative 14x to the 0. If I write x to the 0, that's just what number? 1. So you, we don't need to write x to the 0. Now, the 12, is it positive or negative? Positive. Now, do I just write plus 12? What do we do with the remainder over here? We put it over x plus 2. Now, the second way to figure out what these numbers mean is that if you put your finger on the remainder, 12, and you just cover it up, then this is um, ascending, x to the 0, right? This is just a constant, just a number, and then you just add x and then x squared. Do you see that? So basically what we've just done is in synthetic division, the quotient is the same thing as we have over here, right? Now be careful on your quiz on what day? 
I will ask you to do both. I will ask you to do show me synthetic or long division, and I might and ask you to show synthetic division. If I say show me long division and you do this, okay, you will be marked incorrect. Okay, you have to show me the methods.